Welcome to Lex's world. Let's talk about finding a pro-weed girlfriend. So if you look at my channel demographics, the viewership across all my videos is actually 82% male, which is an overwhelming statistic. Even my episode on pregnancy, breastfeeding, and cannabis, which I'll link to in the description, is watched half by males. It's simply because there are more males than females who are passionate about weed, and girls tend to be more low-key than guys about drug use, cannabis included. So finding a 420 chick can be a bit of a challenge, but it's doable. What's my qualification on talking about this? Well, I'm married to a cute girl who smokes weed, so there's proof for ya. Uh, she's actually the girl in that breastfeeding video. So let's start covering our bases off. First, technology is your friend here. There's already steadily growing stoner dating sites like my420mate.com or stonersingles.net where you can go find a girl who is as hardcore into weed as you are. Maybe even a female grower. And they do exist, by the way. As for the more mainstream dating websites like Match and Plenty of Fish, on those my advice is to be shockingly upfront about your cannabis use, especially when the website provides you with a built-in feature to be honest. Some people are reluctant to checkmark the do you do drugs box when it's provided, but you know what? Dishonesty on dating websites doesn't help anybody in the long term. Also, usually does drugs just means weed on average, not coke or heroin. Um, not always, but certainly most of the time that's what it means, and people know that. As for the offline dating world, you should know where chicks who smoke weed congregate most often. That way you can identify them, sometimes because they're smoking weed. Of course, the annual 420 event in your area would be a great place to meet girls, as is any live concert uh, and any music festival, especially certain music genres tend to attract more weed than usual. Um, there's rap concerts and alternative punk music uh, type of concerts. These are also good settings to pick up girls in general. It also doesn't hurt to hang around head shops and dispensaries more. A surprising amount of cute girls, all of whom smoke weed of course, shop at these. Your final option is to meet a random girl and simply verify if she's cool with weed and to what degree early on. This may be the easiest option. There's a direct way of doing this, asking, and an indirect way, which involves having her see something blatantly weed-related either on your clothes or in your car, these are things she might be exposed to on a first date, and watching her reaction. What some people do is they wear a little bracelet on their wrist that says 420 on it, um, in red, yellow, and green, or it'll have a pot leaf on it, and just wear it. Not only does it draw in girls who smoke weed, but it repels girls who don't like it very quickly, keeping you from wasting your time on them. I'll try to find one of these bracelets and link to it down below for you guys. As for girls who have no reaction, or don't pick up the reference, that's not always a bad sign. Often it means conversion is possible. But again, you want to be upfront about your cannabis use early on so as not to invest a whole month into somebody before finding out that's going to be a problem. My final piece of advice is this. Unless you are like me and work in the cannabis industry, whether your significant other smokes weed or not is probably not the end-all be-all of dating criteria. I wouldn't base your whole decision of dating someone around just that. A wise man once told me that to figure out if a girl is a good investment long term, you check out her mom to see what she'll look like in 25 years, you check out her spending habits to see if she's high maintenance and if she understands how to save money, you check out how she handles her anger, and if all three of those check out, then you got a jackpot on your hands. Probably good advice. That's the show for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe. 
and hit that like button. Also, if you're my regular subscriber and you haven't checked out my giveaway that I did earlier this week, um, it's still going on for two more days, so check it out. See ya!